So in yesterday's video, I went over how to conditionally render a component. So we did that on a counter component, and we would show the counter if visible was true, otherwise we would display null. And what would happen is if I increment my counter and I would toggle the counter on and off, what would happen is it would lose its value. So why is it doing that and how can we prevent that from happening? Well, what happens is we first mount the counter. So when this page first loads, this component is mounted. And then when we click increment or decrement, it is re-rendered. And then when I toggle the counter off or uh, display null, the counter is no longer being rendered in this return statement. And so it gets unmounted. So when the component gets unmounted, the state is lost. And if we toggle the counter on, it's a fresh counter and so the state refreshes. And so we can actually see what's going on if we add some things into our counter component over here. So I have two functions I added, component will unmount and component did mount. These are special functions that React gives you and React calls them for you. So I'm not actually calling it. So it's a special function like render. We don't actually call render, React does that. So here I'm just console logging these things and I can in my console over here see that happening. So if I refresh, we can see this happening. If I first load the page, it says mounting. So this function is called when the component is first mounted and then I can re-render it, right? And re-render is just the render function is called. And then if I toggle it, it is now unmounted, the state is lost and we can toggle it back on. It's gonna mount a totally new component. Uh, it can render as many times as it want and whatnot, and now it's gone. And there are other lifecycle functions. These are known as lifecycle functions that you can add to your component to see when things happened. Check out the React docs if you want to use them. I actually don't tend to use these functions too much. The one I use the most is component did mount, which we're going to be using in some future videos. Um, but this is another advantage of using class components. So I'm able to use these special React functions. Whereas, for example, my body over here is a regular function and it cannot access those. So you need to turn your components into class components if you want to use these. Um, and we'll see what the use cases for those in a future video. But this leads us to our next question. How can we avoid unmounting this? So the way I was turning this on and off or displaying it, I was unmounting and remounting the component. And so it reset it. Now, this is not the only way you can do it. What we can do is we can actually wrap the counter in a div and then we can actually pass in a style. So I'm going to say this.state.visible. If it's visible, I don't want to change anything. Otherwise, I'm going to pass in a style object here and I'm going to say display none. And so I'm going to get rid of what I have there. And so you'll notice my counter is mounted and now I can increment it. And now when I toggle it off, it is now not unmounted. The only difference now is my div that it's surrounding it. I said display none on it. So that's a CSS thing and now it's not showing. And I can toggle it back on and now we can see it and you can see it kept the count. So that's pretty cool. Um, and we can do this with a class as well. So I can create a class name called hidden um, and I can conditionally change the class name. So I can say this.state.visible. I can say visible. Otherwise, we're going to say hidden. So if we let me drop this down so we can see it. So I can create two classes, visible and hidden. And then I can have the counter look certain ways depending on what uh, class it has on it. So right now, nothing's going to change. We're just taking a class on and off because I haven't styled the CSS. But you notice at the top here, we have app.css. So I can come into app.css and write whatever CSS I want now. So I'm gonna come to the bottom and I'm gonna say dot hidden and I'm gonna say display none. So now whenever I turn on the uh, hidden class, it's actually gonna just display it and it's gonna be gone. Um, and I think I, did I do this the inverse, this.state. Uh, so if I first show this, okay, now it's good. I thought for a second it was doing the inverse, but it looks good. And now we can style things in whatever way we want to, by the way. So if I want visible, uh, I can set the background color. Um, I can set it to, for example, uh, off-white. 
And now we got a slightly different white right here and I could toggle it on and off. So again, you can style stuff this way to conditionally add styles to your components. Anyway, so that's what was going on with that and that is how you conditionally render it and not lose the state of your counter.